Okay, in this example, I'm, I'm going to show you how to uh, interface uh, this board with a webcam on a pan and tilt mount, which is powered by a couple of servos, uh, and RoboRail to uh, track a red ball. Now, this is quite a cool little example. It's uh, actually quite simple as well. Um, now, I've covered this board many times in my other videos. Uh, it's from botbuilder.co.uk. It's a little 12-channel uh, serial servo board. Uh, serial in here. 12 server outputs, 3 digital I.O. and onboard on RAM for storing sequences without a host computer. Um, this is the, the devel development board because these aren't back from the factory yet but they should be back in the next week or so which is quite cool. Um, and this is Robo Realm. So <clears throat> what I'm basically doing is I'm filtering out everything apart from this red ball. You can see there. Then it has a cog or a central gravity attached, which is this white box here, which basically gives the uh, coordinates of um, where the object is. Now using this information, I know that my screen is 640 pixels wide by 480 tall. I'm basically saying if you go past here, it moves to the right. If you're going past, past say here, it moves to the left. And then say I set a value here and here, you go past those, move up or down. Then that's going to a little VB program here, just a few lines again. In fact, most of my code is just a few lines long, which is quite cool. Nothing really um, uh, heavy in there. You can see there for, or well, maybe not. The camera's not that good. So pan right. If the cog cog x axis is greater than 330 pixels, then output to the servos um, one step at a time, and that works the same way for all of the. Uh, up, down, left, right, and everything. Okay, so it's running, which is cool. That's output into um, the serial module. You can see it's sending values. It's saying move servo A and servo B. Right, so put this in the pudding. Let's see if it works. So this robot loves this red ball. There we go. Looking up. This way. I have to go quite slow because the frame frame rate rate is um is quite low. It's about 15 frames a second, I think. I've yet to find a way to speed that up. You know, this camera is quite a good one. It's uh, a cable up to about 60 frames a second. Either that or my computer is getting quite old and ancient. So let's see. There we go. Let me get right up close. Oh, I think he's lost it. If he's lost it, what he'll do is it'll try and track and see if he can find it again. So let's see if he can do that. Get it into the speed. There we go. Locked on again. Bump on it. Also, it helps if there's not a lot of red stuff in the room because it will lock onto anything which is of a, a similar size. It's on the screen, it's busy tracking away the wall. And there you have it. 